Today is February 13th. Pastor is saying to us, He never compels you. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. As you study the scriptures, you will discover that God gave man the power to choose. He may give several options and show you which one is right for you. But he never forces you to make a choice. In our theme scripture, he told Israel what to choose, life over death, blessings and not curses. But he didn't force them. This is an important lesson for leaders. Only tyrants compel or force obedience. In Matthew chapter 20, verse 25, the Amplified Classic, Jesus said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great men hold them in subjection, tyrannizing over them. The Lord is in that way. Think about Jesus and his message of love. He gave his own life for all. Through the ages, Many rulers and religious leaders force people to accept their beliefs through intimidation, fear, and terror. But the Lord Jesus gave his own life in our place and still lovingly lets us know we have a choice to accept or reject him. Think about, think about that. However, even though he doesn't force us into the choices we make, he lets us understand the consequences of making the wrong choices. What you must do, therefore, is to live according to his word and by his spirit. To the one who's yet to be born again, I encourage you to do so now. Don't live another day without making Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. You have the power to choose, so make this right choice now. The Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 9. It's so simple yet so powerful. To be born again is to have the very nature of God in your spirit. It's to have the active life of Christ in every fiber of your being, in your spirit, soul, and body. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, by the Holy Spirit and through the guidance from your Holy Word, I make wise and accurate choices in line with your perfect will and destiny for my life. Your Word is my all-time guide. And Christ has been made unto me wisdom. Therefore, I make only godly and spirit-inspired decisions. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. And Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 28 and Leviticus chapters 4 to 5. And for the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 14, verses 1 to 10, and Genesis chapter 44. There is an unprecedented stirring of the waters, and the healing streams are flowing again. It's flowing to every nation, every city, and every home. If there's anything that's been wrong in your life, especially your body, God's peace can get a hold of your system and bring an end to the sickness that you have been going through. It's time for an unforgettable outpouring of the miraculous at the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris this March, from Friday the 17th to Sunday the 19th of March, 2023. God sent me to you to bring you His healing. That's why I can utter words from He. And it doesn't matter where you are in this great world. As I speak those words, the disease, the sickness, the infirmity has no option than to leave you. This is your set time for a miracle. Register now at www.healingstreams.tv slash LHS. 
For more details, call the number showing on your screen. The services will be broadcast live on www.healingstreams.tv and on the Healing School mobile app. The Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris. Your set time for your healing.